I think these two have been telling me to get more grass. The babies must be getting demanding. Let's have a quick look see in here before I go get the grass. Where's that hole? Better come on then up. Whee! Looking pool over me. They're getting big. They're getting big. Big and messy. <laughs> okay, so leave it to it. Looks as though one of the babies is out. Boy, they grow up fast. Now, I haven't had much experience with red rump babies. But that looks like a female to me. Whoa! <sighs> Trying to get out! Oh, oh! Fly. These are siblings, are they still in the box? Female red rumps have that duller olive green compared to the sort of brighter more fluorescent green that Sylvester has. Ah, he moved. Come here Sylvester. Okay, he's stuck on the mesh. Young birds kind of get stuck on the mesh a bit. They grab on and when they try to take off, they don't sort of realize their claws are still hanging on. It takes them a while to get used to it. Get you some grass, eh? to get them some grass. 
She's a stroppy little one. Yeah, she's stroppy. I'm not going to hurt you. She's going to be all right. Little fly. Ooh. Oh, crunch. Got to practice that a bit more, eh? Oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> I'll leave them alone for a minute and go and get some grass. There's other two in the box, squawking away. They heard their sibling squawk. They will probably be out by the end of the day or tomorrow. One did hatch a day before the others. Or two of them hatched. Yeah, one hatched first and then the other two hatched the second day, I think. So one will be slightly more advanced. Okay, I'll get you some grass. Here's your baby. Huh? Where's she gone? She's down there again. Okay, down there, sweetie. Get some grass. Come on. Who wants grass? Let's clean up all the old grass in here. You guys haven't been eating enough of it. grass. I don't know if you'll be able to eat it yet by yourself. You can eat some regurgitated grass. Just they love dropping in the water bowl. Yeah, he's a clever boy. He's clever mummy and daddy this time around. Finally got some babies. It's going to be chaos when all three of them are in here with you, isn't it? <laughs> Where are we going to put everybody? <laughs> Quail are checking it out. <laughs> Run away. Come on, sweetie. No one to sit down there. Not very nice down there. Oh, careful. 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 Come on. Pretty girl. Just walk. Walk for a little bit until you've got the hang of that flying lark. Protective of his offspring. Never seen him do that to a quail before. The offspring there is a far better colour to blend in with the surroundings than Sylvester's. How are you doing, Sylvester?
How you doing, mummy? How you doing, little birdie? They're rather feisty now. And just learning to fly. But still like the comfort of the nest. And they look like they might all be females. Big bird. Their tails will stay like that with a white around the edge of each feather. You got a little bit of that, haven't you? It's always the white and tail. You can go back in your box. Paxo! <laughs> oh. Gotta learn how to walk now, don't you? You haven't walked yet. Just rolling around in your little nest box. A bit clumsy on it. See. All three of the babies are now out of the nest box. Unfortunately, today, fireworks went on sale for Guy Fawkes, and it's a Saturday. It's 7 o'clock at night at the moment, and within the next hour or so, people will start letting off fireworks, which isn't a great start for these little guys. These guys have been through many a Guy Fawkes, and there's a lot of fireworks around here on a regular basis anyway, so they're kind of used to it. But hopefully the the three red rumps will be all right. Okay, guys. What are you doing stuck on there? I'm not going in there just because it's a bit chaotic. Don't want to upset them too much at this time of the day. Five red rumps flying around in that Avery can be a little bit full on. We'll video them again tomorrow properly. So everybody's okay after the first weekend of fireworks, so that's good. They're learning to fly quite well now, I just had to catch one to get some grass that was wrapped around its leg off, and it was quite difficult. It's a bit chaotic in here with five of them flying around your head. Here's the other one. Yes. What do you reckon, Yellow? Got a lot of new neighbours. Hmm? Might get a friend soon, Yellow. I don't think they can all stay in here. 
It's a little bit cramped for five red rumps, I reckon. So I might try some of them back, or maybe all, back in the main pheasantasium. Might try opening the door up again here, just now that they've bred, and let them all use both sides, everybody, until it comes to breeding time again, and then separate Sylvester and Tweety off again. Don't know. I might have to go and um, try and quiet down a couple of cockatoos. Pixel! Okay, so there you go. The babies have all survived to adult size and hopefully shortly once they've learnt how to fly properly, we can put them on the other side, integrate them with other birds, and we've got some new members of the Pheasantasium family. Our first baby red rumps. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one. If you haven't seen the other red rump video, I'll put a link here at the end. See ya. Proud parents.